What is going on everybody? Gamus here and welcome to this new video. Today I'm presenting you Synergy Mod 12 running on the Sony Xperia Tablet Z2. Let's get into it. I've been using Synergy Mod 12 on this tablet for quite some time now. I used to build it by myself with, well, discrete success. But now, thanks to the free Xperia project, we got more frequent and reliable nightlies. As you can see, the ROM is pretty smooth and most of the hardware is working. Yet, this is still a pretty early version of Cyanogen Mod, and while it can be used as a daily driver, I wouldn't suggest to. In fact, there are some bugs and issues here and there that make this ROM sometimes unreliable. The first thing you'll notice is that audio FX crashes on boot, and it keeps crashing for some time. This seems to be a common problem, because I remember that the same problem used to happen in some Synergen Mod 11 builds with DSP Manager. The second big problem is the camera not working. As you try to open it, it will stay black for some time, then just force close. This is quite annoying, since I'd really want to make some video calls with this tablet, but the camera is inaccessible. Well, I hope it gets fixed soon. Also I noticed that the battery life got really worse and I suspect there's some process that keeps the device from sleeping correctly. It isn't a huge problem though, the battery of this device is great and it's likely to get to the end of the day anyway. The last huge problem I had with this ROM concerns the recovery. If you have used Synergy Mod 11 on this tablet, you will probably expect to use Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now, with CM12, Synergen Mod team started merging their own recovery into the ROM, and depending on the device, every time you flash a new nightly, you will also replace your current recovery. The Z2 tablet is one of these devices, unfortunately. The new Synergen Mod recovery is in fact really unreliable, and if you try to flash a ROM with it, it will likely work and even boot, but it will be surely broken and unstable. Also, if you care for your data, don't even try to run a wipe command. So every time you want to flash a new nightly, you have to get into fast boot first, flash the clockwork mod recovery boot image you can find on XDA, then reboot into the freshly installed recovery, and finally flash your nightly. So, as you have seen, this ROM has potential, but it still needs some work to be ready for daily use. I will probably just skip it. After all, everything I need on a daily basis works just fine. So guys, this is gonna wrap up the video. Thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Please press the like button if you did, and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.